He took advantage of the leverage that he had. Mm-hmm. Um, he did what he had to do, all those things. Took care of himself. Sat out training camp. I got my eyes on Trent Williams this year, and that means I'm going to be studying offensive line play. He better have a good year. But I'll tell you this. He's on notice from Matt Steinmetz. Who's on notice from you fans? That's your answer, and that's your prerogative. Bobby Brown, I can't take it from you, but I'll say this to that about it being Trent, because I don't want to talk you out of it. He's been an all-pro the last three seasons. He's 36 years old. He's played a lot of football. So on my chart, my metric, I got confidence he can bypass or miss uh, training camp and preseason and still be the guy that he is. My answer, Stani, and you tell me what you think, because I do have a love. I don't want to call it hate relationship with uh, Kyle Shanahan, but uh, I react to new information. He's, He's so great and skilled and innovative at his job that when the Niners lose in big games, there always seems to be like the overtime rule, the non-throwing of the flag. And I think when you lose on a big stage and you get your ass kicked, and I remember I was listening to the morning guys talk about the Buffalo Bills, it's kind of nothing to see here when you just lay an egg collectively. But Kyle at different junctures, who's the Captain James T. Kirk of the Enterprise, Stiney, he has to deliver in the team knowing their overtime rules. I'm not saying that's why the Niners lost the Super Bowl, but things like that, to me, are why uh, the sound we played from our guy Peter from NFL Network, he wasn't calling Kyle out, but he was putting it at his doorstep, and I have no problem with that because I think so highly of Kyle, I'm mad at him because I feel like he's gotten in his own way of getting it done. So I'm going to say Kyle, Stiney. All right. Who has to deliver, in your mind, for the San Francisco 49ers this year? In your mind. And Mm. that means there's no wrong answers here. But the way I look at it is Ayuk held out, and I know he held in. McCaffrey, he wanted to get some some more money. He got it. Trent Williams was a no-show until today. Kyle Shanahan, people think he's got the monkey on his back. You got Brock Purdy, huh? who's... I wonder how many answers we'll get with Brock. Yeah. Because right now, you know. and I, we got Trent and Kyle. I'm curious to from the callers what we get, Steiny. Well, and the reason I'm saying Trent Williams, too, is because, you know, I think to me, Trent Williams and Brandon Ayuk and even McCaffrey, depending on, you know, how his year goes, they put kind of targets on their back. They They... Wanted more money. They all got more money. And now they have to deliver. But to me, Trent Williams is front and center in terms of the guy who has to deliver on this team. And it's the the other thing that's a factor with Trent Williams is while he may be the best left tackle in football. All pro three seasons in a row. The offensive line as a whole is considered, you know, a question mark. Yeah. So he's got to anchor that offensive line. So to my way of thinking, it's Trent Williams. Trent Williams has to be the guy that everybody thinks he is this year, and he's got to do it the re- in the regular season and in the postseason. So 888-957-9570 is the number if you want to jump into this conversation. To your way of thinking, who is the 49er player that's Got to deliver, plain and simple. Now, I'm, now I'm mad, Stani. I Why? didn't follow the assignment. I said Kyle, but if I were going player, it would be Bosa. And Bosa it can be anybody. Okay, Bosa didn't live up to that contract. Uh, the checks cashed, but I need to see some dominance from him. And a lot of people out there are going to be like, "Goo, he needs help." You be your own help when you're the Michael Strahan or the Aaron Donald. Um, of the 49ers, the Fred Dean, the Alden Smith before uh, the problem. So I'm looking at Bosa to have a bounce back. But let's just talk about Bosa for a second, Stani, and body type. He's a, he basically just went through his f- football puberty, and he held out, and he admitted that affected him. So when you talk about Trent Williams, I'm like, you might be barking up the right tree, and hopefully you're wrong, but him missing camp at 36, you just wonder if there'll be some, you know, Tough times in regard to win and stamina. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. 
Because he don't rest out. on no play. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's that? Trent Williams. You're passing or you're running. Yeah. 888-957-9570. It's football season, everybody. Uh, 510 on the Xfinity Mobile text line. Uh, Steiny, I thought most important season this year is for Kittle. Uh, we need yeah. a leader that will get it done no matter what, and that leader is Fred Warner. Oh, Fred Warner will lead this defense to put his name up there with Willis and Norton Jr. That's T from Oakland. So, I think it's already up there, but I'm not mad. But Warner, uh, I don't think he had a bad season at all, Stiney. He's going to be without his running mate, uh, Greenlaw, for a while, if not the whole season. So I'm curious to see how this defense under first-year defensive coordinator Sorsen is going to attack. And what better test than the J-E-T-S? I think you're you have a higher opinion of the Jets than most people. Well, we got sound. Baldy will tell you what he thinks of the Jets. <laughs> I'll leave so on that the there. Jets offense. Uh, the Jets as a whole, they got offense. Well, they're in and disarray. Well, that's just the camera stuff. What about Reddick? They got a guy who's not there yet. They Their didn't have a last year. That defense was they were studs. Yeah, but now he's holding out. You if think he's with the Niners? Maybe he will miss Monday. Him. Yeah. Uh, Key West Bryant. Key West Bryant uh, is on the line. What's going? What's going on? Let's Key see West, who he's calling out. Key West Bryant. Hey, I Key hate West. to piggyback on this. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I hate to piggyback, but it's definitely Bosa. Yeah. I mean, we have to have a pass rush. We've got this intellectual mastermind coach. We've got plenty of talent. Even if they all played at a medium, they should get the job done. Get after the quarterback, and most importantly, don't over pursue Mahomes like he did in the past. Right. <sighs> Get, make a presence there on that line. That's it. I mean, get after it. Wow. 10.5 sacks yeah. last year. Two for Bosa, Stani, including me. One for the caller and um, then myself. Josh Ram, Jets are bad, Steiny Jesus. What does that mean, Josh Ram? But Jets are bad, Steiny genius, uh, Jesus. I got to believe bad meaning good. I guess. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, let's not forget that their quarterback is 40 and he didn't play last year. So Aaron Rodgers hasn't played in two years, essentially. Do you think that could kind yes. of help? A four- oh, yes, yeah, gotcha. I do think okay. that's a factor. I thought you were saying when that was that a old. negative. That oh, is a no. negative. for the. That's a negative for the Jets. I was looking at like he didn't get hit all last year, no. and I'm, that could be a positive because we're talking about the one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, I'm and looking he's got at it. weaponry. He's got Hall. He's got Wilson. He's got some. He's got some weaponry. Yeah, and he's 40 years old, and he hasn't thrown a football in a year, yeah. so or two years. So, I don't know. Same, yeah. you know. Brady same. won a Super Bowl in his 40s. Yeah, he did. He's the only one, right? Yeah, the only quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl. And they're, you don't think the Jets are winning a Super Bowl? Come no, on, I do. Th- come on. What are you doing? I'm doing what the Memphis Grizzlies did last year. When they were decimated and lost their star player, their asses played hard. And if you know ball, you could watch like, okay, some guys took steps. But you couldn't look at the win-loss record to say, okay, Memphis got the best out of a bad hand. And I expect now that they get jaw back, Steiny, Memphis is going to be a problem. And I look at the Jets. Some of their losses were gut-wrenching because they had nothing at the quarterback play, but they had studs on the uh, – defensive side of the ball and offense. So I can't wait. To, this is, And they got the old school helmets now with the Jets oh, on well the that, side. That's worth the Richard four points. Todd helmet, Stoney, I'm yeah, ready. That's worth four points. No, I'm just saying. No, I think it is. I think you're selling Rogers short. I, I think, think I, if healthy, Stoney, he, he's as good as if you, if you can give him time, he'll get it out. Yeah. Uh, from the 510, uh, we're talking about what 49er needs to deliver this year in your mind. Who has to come through the most in terms of a player or a coach? Uh, 888-957-9570. This is from the 510. Brock Purdy mm. needs to deliver. My first Brock. He did not play well against good defenses he faced last season. In the playoffs, he did not put together a full game. He had good drives and quarters, but was fairly inconsistent. That's from the 510. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy may be the one player on this team that needs to improve. Well, let's be honest. If we want to talk about pressure and impact and future paydays, there's nobody close to uh, Brock Purdy and what he might be able to get with a good or bad year, Stani. So I'm not mad at that. I do hate the fact that 
his example I didn't buy. I thought the Niners offense as a whole during the playoff run was pedestrian. So I don't no. think that was just on Brock. Well, if if their offense as a whole was pedestrian in the postseason, then you do have to wonder, in a way, what you got? Why they? You know, if their offense was so pedestrian that didn't stop Trent Williams, Brandon Ayuk, and, and Christian McCaffrey for wanting more money, but that, even they though went it was to pedestrian, part, they almost won it. But w- did they almost win it, or were they pedestrian offensively? Well, both. Yeah. And they wanted money. Two things could be true. Yeah, and they wanted money after a Super Bowl year in which they didn't get it done. And they got it. And they did get it. So what kind of incentive do you think this team has right now? I mean, it's easy to say that, uh, you know, they need a Super Bowl, but the bottom line is right now they're 0-0 and and there's a long, long way to go. Yeah. And uh, We got a game coming up. We do. Uh, Amazing Grace. Is Amazing on the phone. Grace. What's going on, uh, Grace? How you doing? I'm doing great. Highly hey. favored and blessed. Number one 49er fan. All right. I think my coach needs to step up. He's out here posing and moving and shaking with some of these rap players. <laughs> Get in the office. Make a plan. You do look well in white, though. Uh, make a plan so we can get this job done. I'm ready for my ring so there I can you get go. my right, my bragging rights on. Yeah. Uh, Grace, don't be a stranger. I like that. She called in. She said the you coach. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm talking about the coach. Yeah, he did look clean and white. I got to get that to him. Kyle did look. His swag was on 1,000. <laughs> his, yeah. his swag better be on 1,000 on that field when there we go, go in here and do this. There you go. Great. Right, so call Kyle, it out, Kyle. Kyle Shanahan's the one who's got to uh, not call it deliver. out. Just answering your question that you astutely put together. Yeah. Brock had more weapons than Jimmy ever had, uh, <sighs> according to. Uh, well, Jimmy only had a few five. games with uh, McCaffrey, Steiny. And, and he, he won them all. And, and without him, he got to a bowl. Uh, 206, the Jets are bad, as in bad, guru. <laughs> Pressure is on the O and D lines. Uh, maybe right, he means bad. No, I might mean bad is good. It I, don't has know. To, this, I don't know if yeah. he means bad is good or bad is bad. The, the Jets, Jets are, are bad not as in bad guru. Yeah. Pressure is on the O and D lines as a whole. That's from gutter trash. Yeah, I can't tell if he's agreeing with you or not. Well, my question to you and Niner fans, and they're just but my just assessment. Stink. Until further notice. I I please. smell a bet coming. Please. Ten wins. For who? The Jets. I'll take the under. Well, do it right. Th- okay. This yeah. is done. Okay. Evan, book it. Ten wins for the Jets. Yeah, I got the under. I'm going to give you two seconds to change your mind. Why? To Stein, you, hey, you're selling Rodgers short. He's, I'm, I'm selling, selling Rodgers old. Brees, what about oh, Hall? Brees Hall. I had him on my fantasy team that last year. Nothing. I know all about I'm him. I'm just telling you. The Jets got D. Evan? All right. Boy. Crazy bet I just made? Jets under 10 wins. I took over. I'd lean under, but hmm. just me. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like another one coming my way. Uh, let me see what the Jets win total is for this year. <laughs> oh, man, I'm 2024. telling you. I got Kansas City, Baltimore, and the uh, Jets. Jets projected win totals 9.5. 9. Yeah. 9.5. 10 uh, is a winner for me. So there you go. Colin Coward thinks it's too high, though, and he knows. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're going to ask, he knows. Yeah. Just like he knew about the Ayuk situation. Now, I shouldn't have did that. Did he? Was he wrong about it? Yeah. He, he did the Jerry Rice. When did he do that? On he the said show. He said he's going to Pittsburgh? No. No, just saying we would know something soon. All right, here you go. This is how great the Jets are, according to Brian Baldinger. Nobody better take Aaron Rodgers lightly because he played four plays last year. He's Please. approaching 40. There Nobody better go. do that. Big time. I've seen... That team practice last year and this year as much as anybody out there. That guy, when you go out to watch him in practice, he doesn't look 40. His arm doesn't look like that. I saw Brett Favre late in his career, and the arm fell off. I saw Peyton Manning's arm fall off. Like, that's not the case. And I don't know if there's a smarter player or coach than Aaron Rodgers in his business. You better take – Brees Hall might – he might push Christian McCaffrey for leading the league in rushing yards, the whole thing this year. He has – that kind of ability. The offense lines is as good as it's been. 
since, you know, in over 10 years. Okay, it's the best it's been. And they've got depth. Yeah, the G is for Guru Stani, not just me banging that drum as Baldy. Yeah, I, I, I prefer the wisdom of D. Lou 22 <laughs> what, what did D. on the Lou YouTube say? chat who says, Jets have no O-line, and it's different when there's pressure. 40-year-old's going to be running for his life. <laughs> One of the greatest to ever do it. Okay. I wonder what is I should... He, I, is I, he? I, well, what... What do you got him? Your top? Yeah, he's probably top twelve. I got him top five. Oh, yeah. Oh, Montana, d- d- number one. Brady, two. Mahomes, three. Manning. Oh, I don't got Manning in there. You got Rogers better than Manning. No, 